Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm Cassie, thank you for being here. Welcome to the week of disaster days. Okay, oh, I should have had some wind blowing in my face. Can we do that in post? No, okay. We had a big natural disaster movie poll and Deep Impact one. I have a reaction to that out. Me and Carly, go check it out. And tonight I'm watching The Perfect Storm, which came in third. Dante's Peak is yet to come. Our second place winner. I'm trying to watch that with Carly. Anyways, The Perfect Storm. Okay, this has George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg. And I thought that this one was, I was getting it confused with Deep Water Horizon, which is another kind of natural disaster, not really, Mark Wahlberg movie, but this is different and I know nothing about this one other than I'm guessing it's a storm. An unlikely duo, maybe, George Clooney and Marky Mark, no? Maybe not. I'm pretty sure someone told me this was based on a true story and I love movies based on true stories. So I'm really looking forward to this. We watched Deep Impact, had no idea how emotional and wrecked that was gonna make us. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm in for with this natural disasters week. I guess before we had watched Twister and it, you know, had kind of a happy ending. And anyways, so Deep Impact was tough. So I'm excited to watch A Perfect Storm tonight with you. Oh, also, want to hear a funny story? I was going to go make the poll for the Natural Disasters movie, and I remember getting so many suggestions for Joe versus the Volcano, St. Elmo's Fire. So I go to put those on the Natural Disaster poll. Anyways, some slight light Googling, and those are not Natural Disaster polls but they have been suggested still a lot. So let me know if I should watch those in the comments. Okay, let's get to the perfect storm. Remember, Patreon, bell, subscribe, like. Did that in a different order. Okay, let's watch. film is based on a true story. Okay. Are they fishing boats? I want to go to a place like this in real life. Only seen it in the movies. Pulley. He passed away on board. Aren't you overdue to break out of yours? You hear the lady? Ben Pulley's dead. Bring in your fish. Shouldn't take too long. They are fishing boats? Competitive? Oh, haunt my nightmares. Please tell me those are exaggerated. Why? Why are they the size of walruses? These, these guys that catch these monsters have got to like never eat them, right? Because how can you look at that and then be like, yum. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I don't need to go to one of these places in real life. I get half, I own the boat. Your captain takes a double share in a rookie like you, a three quarter share. That comes to $2,221. What it is, what it is. How long have they been out there? For two thousand twenty-two hundred dollars. Right. You like Florida? Well, it beaches the Grand Banks in October. Or he thinks he can score better with another cat. I didn't say that. She did. Here's your cut. Fifty-nine, twenty-three, seventy-six. That's a record low for you, isn't it? Okay. If you 
can't make it pay, I'll find somebody who can. I'm gonna bring you more fish than you ever dreamed of. Then I'll go further. Nah, don't you even think about it. I want my boat back. I wanna catch some fish. It's what I do. Not lately. Bugs, you're making out. Not. I don't know. Maybe I smell like fish. Maybe I need a new face. Oh. <laughs> hey, what happened? Oh, they, uh, they had a sale on kids' shoes at Ames. No problem. Hi. Hello. <laughs> he is darling. I say, for old times' sake. It was the old times that killed us, honey. You want to come with your daddy? Shoot some pool? <laughs> Have a drink? <laughs> what a cute kid. Yeah, we're going back out. What'd I tell you? When? A few days. A oh, few means two? Two days is right. Skip, yeah, just get back in. Well, you boys don't want your sight or replacements a phone call away. Well, that's... This time I promise you, I'll come back with a load of fish. Going up there. Don't make the same mistake I did. <sighs> Can someone tell me how long they were gone? Just one more time, I promise. I have to try it again. We need the money, baby. Always about the money. Well, I got a divorce lawyer. And then there's your two kids. You gotta get them back. You think you'll love them? They're yours, aren't they? Okay. So they're dating. She needs custody back of her kids. He needs a divorce? Hey, you know what would look good on you? Me. <laughs> and I was feeling sorry for him for a second. One of these days, your mom's gonna find you a new dad. I don't want a new dad. Your mom can't sit around by herself all the time. I know your mom wouldn't take up with anybody but a good guy. The most important thing is that you and mommy are happy. <sighs> Can we talk about something else now? Oh. oh my gosh. What a good dad. You guys are loading bait and groceries. You doing a turnaround? The rest for the week. See, the thing is, Captain, I'm looking for a guy to come home to Maine with me, buy a house, and raise a few kids. Now, come on, look. The thing is, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm fit to do this. I just don't see the romance in it. You got it, Captain Greenlaw. You do, believe me. The day I laid eyes on you, I said to myself, she's going to be a good one. Are they going to be in love? The sun hits you. Head north. Open up to 12. Steaming now. The guys are busy. You're in charge. You know what? You're going to sort of Captain. Sword boat captain. That does sound cool. What's this you doing now? Helping out a friend. Paying you? He's my friend. Where if you keep his sight? So you want this job or not? I do. Prison break guy. <laughs> Tell me last night was worth it. Last night was worth it. There's nothing like sleep, won't you? <sighs> Lying next to you. All warm and sweet. Me wish the morning would never come. <sighs> That's the way you're getting your customers these days. The welfare office? Hey, who gave you that scar, tough guy? Are they? How are you gonna act on board if you're already at each other's throats? Oh, they've got history. Can I get you anything? Let's go, boys. Thanks, Uncle. Is that his real mom? They're all calling her mom. Grand Banks and no joke. Sell the car. We'll work nights, weekends. Oh. <sighs> hey. Um. Irene, I just wanted to say goodbye. No one ever said goodbye to me before. I wish it were night so I could say goodnight, Irene. <laughs> That'll come later. Mm hmm? Sheesh. I mean, Mark Wahlberg has never looked better, but in this movie, I'm gonna say that. Guys, something bad's gonna happen. Bye, Bobby, or Hi, somewhere Bobby. else. Here it comes. And I'm writing this on a box of two semi-down pillows. Then I'm smiling to myself. I'm talking removal to our own place. It's no great shakes, but, but you gotta begin with a baby shake. 
forever love, Bobby. They love each other so good. Hey, you're a happy man out here, aren't you, Skip? Today, maybe. Well, when do you get unhappy? The day we go home. I thought the sea was your home. All right, you got me there. Pensacola, Florida. My ex lives there, Jody. My kids. Oh. So why are you so happy? <laughs> you just got me on a good day. How about you? I got a woman I can't stand to be more than two feet away from. And then again, I love to fish. Son, you got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I know. All right, they're cute. They're little, what do you call it, rapport? Tell Bernie I need two graphics for Muta and Sable Allen. What's our course? I've been sailing 42 years. Set the compass, I ride it. We'll be in Bermuda in no time. What's their story, these sailors to Bermuda? Let's go fishing. Yeah! yeah! All right. <laughs> okay, I'm actually very curious to see how this works. Oh, they really do throw in like a thousand hooks. That dead weight been screwing around all night. Yeah, well, your wife didn't feel that way. Oh. 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 oh it's a lot of uh, testosterone on this boat. <laughs> Let's go. Oh boy. This is not an easy job, I'll say it again. Man, that thing is huge! Is there really enough of those? For multiple boats to be doing this? I got confidence in you. What are you putting me on? He's my precious boy. And you're the woman for him. That's something I don't joke about. Oh. It won't take much to turn this tropical storm into a hurricane. This just is. <sighs> Poor little guys. That's a lot of anxiety. It's like working on commission only. What if they pull up like a shark? <gasps> Frick! That's. Sh oh my gosh! I was joking! <gasps> oh, it scared the crap out of me! Oh, we don't keep that one. <laughs> they did not take that seriously enough. Morale is low. What are you gonna do about those sets? They suck. The boy's been talking about how I lost it. Come out here because I need the money, Skip. I'm trying for a new start here. But all in all, you're just a little punk. Hey, you promised me a shitload of fish. You'll get a shitload of fish. I always find the fish. Always. And I will this time. So don't fuck with me. Do they know the hurricane's coming? Hurry up for the camp scene. Okay, sure, yeah, I'll help them out. What a Oh my gosh! No one saw this? Oh frick! And you! Are they jumping in? They are jumping in! been underwater a long time. Is he gonna be okay? CPR. Two, three, four. Oh my gosh. I met his son. You cannot do this to me. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, Sully was the first one to go in. Yeah, well, you'd have done the same for me. Isn't that what I'm supposed to say? 
Well, you can say what you want, but uh, I'm glad you know how to swim. Well, that's real big of you, Mark. That's all I can manage right now. I'll work on it. Aww. <laughs> that's something. Uh, I don't know that we go with the flow in a five. Everybody there? Um, do they get a weather report? Skip, we're starting to get an unlucky feeling out here. Murph going over, the shock, a rogue wave. Never mind, unlucky, right? We're just looking for some fish. Well, we have slumped before you and I, but nothing like Boys look like you got busted in the brawl in Scully Square. That's how we feel. We want to go home. Bob, you want to go home? I'm looking around and all I see is a bunch of little boys. What the hell are you talking about, Cap? Where the hell is that? Grandbacks are west of us. I'm headed east. The Flemish Cap. Oh, you know, why don't we steam to Portugal while we're at it? This is where they separate the men from the boys. I can't tell if he's inspiring them or gaslighting them. Ahoy, Captain Todd. What's happening? Captain Todd, where are you? Tail of the Banks. Kicking up something wicked here. What's your position? 46 north, 48 west. I'm scared his pride is gonna get, uh... Flemish cap is nearly off the charts. What the hell are you trying to prove? This could be a triple header. Lindy, you're behind me, so is your weather. Billy, you're not gonna like this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You be careful. He kinda thinks nothing bad can happen to them. I don't know. I know he's desperate to prove everyone wrong and... You, you got him right there? Oh crap. They're upside down. Speaking of pride. They're so happy. It's gonna get so bad, isn't it? The ice machine's had it. It's dead. It was a little spit and glue. I did. She's fried, Skip. The ice machine's gone. Pull up the gear. We're going home. Yeah! Oh, what we're up against. We're looking at 40 to 50 foot waves right in our path. Uh. I've never seen you scared. Pretty rough stuff out there, that's for sure. We got 60,000 pounds of fish here. What, are we gonna let it spoil and feed it to the birds? We say the hell with it. Drive right through it. No, your lives are not worth that paycheck. We got Hurricane Grace moving north off the Atlantic seaboard. This low south of Sable Island ready to explode. Fresh cold front swooping down from Canada. Oh, come on, Canada. You could be a meteorologist all your life never see something like this. Oh my gosh, of course. It would be the perfect storm. Bobby, watch out here with me. I got a bad feeling about this. Maybe, maybe. This is our rescue. <gasps> Katie, they hurt me! Leo, how far that last position? About 24.3 miles. Is this the Coast Guard? My gosh. Is he attached to a rope? Or is he just free swimming? Holy crap. Job. 
Coast Guard. Good job. My stress level is like up here right now. So good at that. Holy, she knows how real this is. This is fishing vessel Hannah Bowden relaying a mayday for sword boat Andrea Gale. <gasps> I just got a mayday on a Gloucester sword boat, the Andrea Gale, 44 north, 56.4 west. Went straight into hell. We're gonna drop you on the Coast Guard Cutter Damaroa. We got some sword fishermen who seem to have lost their way. Bobby, or is he harnessed to something? I would just do anything to have my feet on land. I don't like this anymore. This feels very, very, very dangerous. Hold on. I think yes. Think she's a hell of a boat? With a hell of a crew! And a hell of a skipper! But this is the perfect store. Ah! Sheesh, come on! Holy freaking crap, what was that? Take the wheel. Do they all know how to drive a boat? There she is! Wait, mid-air? We're doing this? Well, that looks impossible. My gosh. I almost can't watch. Holy freaking crap. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my. <gasps> I'm trying to get that thing off. I see. Oh. Get, get in, get in, get in. No time to cheer. A missing sword boat, the Andrea Gale out of Gloucester, with a crew of six. An Air National Guard rescue helicopter has been dispatched. <laughs> He's out of control. Oh, we still haven't. <sighs> no! We're running on fumes. This is not our night. We're ditching. Wait a sec. Oh, this is actually insane. Rescuers need rescuing. Come on, Daryl. No, 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 no. Daryl. They gotta get out of there. Two? Or is there two people in there? Or just one? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. crap. I don't like this. Oh my gosh. That's only one though, right? I 
I can't take this. I feel like crying. I just. We're good news, he would have called us. The news is the rescue helicopter had to ditch. We can't raise the end of the deal. We don't know anything. You're counting your money. My guy's out there risking his life for a bunch of stupid fish. That's the game. I hate the game. I hate the game. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hate this. Do they see you? Everyone's risking their lives for everyone. It's very inspiring, but it's hard to think like, should have gone out in the first place. And I get it, they need the money, but ah, what the freak? Okay. Come on, boys. Say now you go full throttle. Got it? You'll get one chance at this. This is like, it's just so unrelenting. No! Are we sure this is better? Look at all the water in their ship. Holy, I can't watch. Upside down, they're upside down, they're upside down, they're upside down in the water. Holy mother of frick. Uh, the fish, the... We need to like let go of weight, like the fish, like... We did it? I feel like it's not over yet. Keep this up, make it through till dawn. We might get out of here. They're coming for us. You're so close. Something's gonna go wrong right this second when they grab it. Hold the net up, maybe. There you go. <sighs> Jeremy's the one that went in for those guys. Just, we're gonna get hypothermia. Is it over? It's over? Just kidding, we're gonna make it. What? What's he not telling them? Did they just give me a little bit of hope, only to... She's not gonna let us out. What happened to the sunlight? No. Oh my gosh. Are they upside down again? Let's go, boy. No! 
be hard, my little boy. Please no, after all this. Sorry I got you this. Skip, we made the right call. We had to try. I can't watch this. I can't watch them all day. It was a hell of a fight though. Huh? What's he doing? Where's the other guys? Christina. Christina, can you hear me? I don't know if you can, but I'm talking to you, baby. Do you know how much I love you? I loved you the moment I saw you. I love you now, and I love you forever. Guys? Do they all... Uh... He's just alone in the ocean? And all the other guys? It's been a week of round-the-clock flights. The search for the Andrea Gale, the sword boat out of Gloucester, has also been permanently suspended without finding a single survivor. What? What? I knew Billy Time. I did not know his crew very well, but any man who sailed with him must have been the better for it. May you rest easy, longliners, in fair winds and calm seas. This can't be how it ends. There is no headstone on which to rest a bunch of flowers. Uh, the only place we can revisit them is in our hearts. His little boy. Or in our dreams. <laughs> Sleep well. Good night. No. Bobby, where have you been? But he won't tell me. He just smiles and says, Remember, I'll always love you, Christina. I love you now and I'll love you forever. There's no goodbye, only love. And then he's gone. Oh my gosh! But he's always happy when he goes. So I know he's gotta be. Okay. Um, I really, I really thought they were gonna make it out of there. You know what? You're a damn sword boat, Captain. Is there anything better in the world? Well, this sucks. <laughs> so we was waiting for them to like float onto land, you know? And they'll be like, where are you? Where am I? You're like Bolivia, but he's alive. This is gonna be hard on my little boy, he said. Oh my gosh, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> I kept thinking that because they were telling the story, that at least one of them would have had to survive. So is that just what they think happened? And the characters, the names are real, but like that may, like the shark and the big load and the ice machine, that's all what they think. <sighs> My gosh, that was sad. I really thought they were gonna let, let it get out of there. And that's why they would make the movie. Oh, I just feel so crushed by that. The ocean and nature is ferocious and scary. Oh, those effects like made me feel like I was in that storm. Like, I don't know that I've ever been that stressed. Okay, I probably have, but I literally could not calm down. And I actually liked the back and forth to show the intensity of that sailboat and the Coast Guard and the Andrea Gale. Why would they go in and say something like, if anyone can get us through this, it's Billy Tyne. I know it's based on a true story, so I can't change the ending. I just feel really down is all. I had no idea. I had no idea that fishing like that was could be that insane and intense. Like, I loved Mark Wahlberg, I loved George Clooney, I loved all the supporting characters, especially Dale. Is his name always Dale? And he, is his real name Dale, right? I gotta look that up. It worked for me. I, the character development I thought was pretty good. I was feeling for these men, even the ones I knew very little about. The effects were amazing. I thought the acting was great. And I was touched by that story. I just wish it had a happy ending. Wow. And and it wasn't just them. 10,000 men from Glockhoster? 
I mean, I don't eat fish, so <laughs> I'm not part of the problem, but maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess it's part of their heritage and their tradition. And like he said, like he truly loved it. He loved it. But 10,000 in one profession seems like too many. I guess that was since the 1600s. Okay, like I said, oh, I feel dumb at the beginning for doing lightning and wind that I'm not meaning to make light of this, especially after that true story. The utmost respect for people who have lived or lost loved ones from a natural disaster. Thank you all so much for watching along with me and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I'm coming back on for a sec because I just got off this movie and I went and was scrolling my phone and holy crap, this submarine situation. The missing submarine that is like thousands of miles or something under the ocean and they have only a few hours of oxygen left. Are you kidding me? I just feel like that is so, I mean, it's different. It's a submarine versus, but like, just the power of nature and how it, doesn't care how much money you have or who you are. I can't fathom the fear and anxiety. They're in a tiny, tiny submarine and they're running out of oxygen and they said the technology doesn't even exist to get them off of the bottom of the ocean. Holy crap. I can't fathom wanting to do that either though. All right guys, stay safe out there.